Jay Cluddington here at CIO Synergy, and I'm here with Chris Bolt from Greyhound. And you guys are actually doing some pretty innovative stuff from what I just heard on the stage. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, actually, we're in the middle of a five-year transformation program, which uh, includes a big part of the IT uh, infrastructure and portfolio. And uh, we're into year two of that right now. And that covers uh, the whole spectrum of IT, whether it be infrastructure, applications, uh, business capabilities, and also the whole organizational model. So one of the things that I keyed in on is you were talking a little bit about how you are implementing uh, sensors and Internet of Things type technologies in Greyhound buses, which I think a lot of people, the, the, the IoT world is very nebulous. So can you, uh, can you kind of highlight what you're doing there? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the, the whole evolution of the, uh, the bus industry means that they're adding more technology. So as we get delivery of new buses, every bus comes loaded with more technology. I really started with engine technology, sensors in the engine for, sens uh, for sensing uh, RPMs, uh, heat, uh, and, and overall engine performance. But now we're getting other things that you, you start to see elsewhere in, in the uh, automobile industry, like uh, adaptive cruise control, which is very important for safety when you're doing long distance driving, and other sensors around brakes uh, and other peripherals around the bus. Now, uh, what's really interesting is uh, you know, traditionally, all of those uh, sensors, you had to have special devices to plug in and, and get the information. And usually, it was proprietary to the, you know, either the engine manufacturer or the transmission manufacturers. Now, uh, we're getting more open, uh, really, APIs to those, so they should actually pull that data out and actually understand what's happening about the bus, and then relate that to how the bus, for example, the bus driver is driving, or what's happening with the kind of demeanor of the passengers even. Now, safety is of course a big deal, but are there, are there also some cost savings that come along with that? Well, first of all, safety is our number one core value at Greyhound. So that, that uh, is number one, uh, whatever we do, whether it's IT or operations. Uh, however, you, you mentioned cost savings. You know, for example, uh, when we implemented we uh, sensor capabilities in our engines, uh, probably four or five years ago, one of the things we were looking for is how can we reduce idling of the drivers at the uh, depots, at the garages, at stops. And we actually were able to reduce idling by 5%. Not only does that help you know, the environment with uh, reduction of greenhouse gases, but it reduced our total fuel spend by about 5%. Very significant. Wow, that is, that is a big, yeah. big savings. So if you had to pick one thing, what, what is the thing that gets you most excited to get out of bed and go to work in the morning? Uh, I think uh, for me, it's uh, some of the capabilities we're rolling out to our customers. So we've been a kind of a late to the game on some of the capabilities. We only started out rolling out mobile apps last year, but we've really got uh, a headwind around that in terms of new capabilities we're rolling out. We have a quarterly release uh, for all of our mobile apps that are customer facing, and we're implementing a load of new functionality coming in the next few weeks. Uh, which will enable our customers to track the location of their buses real time and understand when, it, when they're going to arrive, when they're going to depart. Oh, that's very cool. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.